What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode with DCL Curations. Today, we're just going to go over the very basics to getting into Decentraland and onto the blockchain. So um, it's, it's something that I hear about a lot. How do you set up a MetaMask? What do I, what do I need? Do I need certain currencies, certain tokens? Um, so we're going to cover all of that. Um, uh, first off, uh, if you go to decentralland.org, you can read some pretty detailed um, documentation about how to get set up. You can look at their actual white paper. Uh, but then if you go down to the Ethereum Essentials, it's going to talk to you about setting up wallets and why. So the reason you should set up a wallet is because when you set up a wallet, it's allowing you to actually play the game on the blockchain. So when you um, are going around in events, and collecting hopes, proof of attendance protocols. Um, you know, you can, those get locked on the blockchain, you have a Pope wallet, those are NFTs. Um, when you're playing in game and you're you know, mining at the casino and you're using it to, um, you know, participate in raffles or buy items for certain games in games in Decentraland, like Corona Zombies. Um, you don't have to have it. You can still run around Decentraland without having your MetaMask hooked up, but you won't get the, the full effect. Um, so how do you get a digital wallet? You go to MetaMask.io. So I already have a, a MetaMask installed, but I've got it up here um, to show you, but this is just an internet plugin. So you click download, and, and this is a wallet, not an exchange. Um, and I'll, I'll talk about the difference in a second, but you would just click download and then over in your in, uh, extensions, I just pinned it here and we can see if I go to, um, here. So I signed out so that I could uh, show you this, but when you open up MetaMask, um, so we are going to connect a new account, connect, dismiss. So I just connected it and you can't connect directly from the MetaMask. You have to find the connect to wallet or connect to MetaMask button on the sites. But um, let's go ahead and do this. So I just signed in under a brand new account. Here's the um, account number um, and I'm on the Ethereum mainnet. So that's how you set up MetaMask and why you need it. So you need it to participate in um, like the actual blockchain portion of Decentraland and to actually participate in all these events and, and stuff like that. You set it up by going to MetaMask.io and downloading it. Include it or uh, pin it as an extension and then when you go to Decentral Games and Decentral Land, you will be able to connect your wallet. And then you'll be able to, yeah, use use things in Decentral Land. You don't even have to put money in the wallet. Um, you do if you want to buy stuff. But just setting it up and having that number with nothing in the account, I think. I've got like uh, this. One, I, I literally have zero, <laughs> zero in this account. It doesn't matter because you can still show up to events and collect popes and participate in participate in scavenger hunts and airdrops and all of that. So um, just having the account is important. Uh, and then if you wanted to fund it, this is really important. When you first set it up it only comes with an ETH listed as an asset. And if you try to send non-ETH to here, it's probably not gonna work and you're probably gonna lose it. So you go to add tokens, mana, to center land. Next, add token. There we go. 
So now I've got Ethereum and I have mana in my account. So this is basically like the, the basics of getting into Decentraland because Decentraland is running on the Ethereum blockchain. So you're going to need Ethereum to cover gas fees. Um, and I'll, I'll show you an example of that. Like if I wanted to go buy this right now, I don't have enough money, so it's not gonna let me, Never mind. Um, but when you go to buy stuff, uh, you basically have to pay transaction fees and it's called gas or GUI. It's the smallest increment of Ethereum, kind of similar to like what Satoshi is for Bitcoin. Um, and you use the Ethereum to pay those fees and make transactions on the network. Um, and, and you cannot pay Ethereum fees in any other currency. So, uh, you know, pop a hundred bucks into your ETH account, a couple hundred bucks maybe, and depending on how many things you're, you're planning on buying. And then mana, you can put it in here and then you can go directly to your Decentraland account. Um, you can deposit it into your Decentraland account and then you can use it to purchase things in game uh, or from the marketplace. So you can go over to shirt, but so then you can go over to the marketplace. Um, you can purchase land, you can purchase wearables, um, and not not only through the Decentraland marketplace, but you can actually go to um, you know OpenSea, and you'll use your MetaMask to connect to that. So um, I've got one account that is connected to it. This one we just set it up; it's not connected yet. Um, but as soon as you connect it, a profile pops up. You can swap money in between. Um, you can list things for auction, bid on auctions, buy stuff. Um, yeah. And then if you want to get mana and um, Ethereum, like I said, MetaMask isn't a, um, isn't really an exchange. So you could choose to purchase it on MetaMask, but you're going to have to hook up basically a, a debit card and you can't do that in all, all uh, locations right now. So you would have to go to an exchange like Gemini or BlockFi or Coinbase. So I've got Coinbase up here, or Coinbase Pro. Um, and then you can type in, you know, mana. Here's the Central Land mana. And you can purchase uh and you can purchase through here um, you set it up like a bank account so you would have a bank account hooked up to it and you can you know, purchase like you would be purchasing uh, stocks if you were trading in your stock account that's directly linked to your bank account right that's how this works and then if you need ethereum ethereum oops em um, em shoot oh hey there we go um they're in the process of the eth 2.0 which is moving to a proof of stake and is going to aims to cut down the price of gas because uh, it's really high right now so you'll see an eth and an eth 2 but they are just duplicates it's literally the exact same um, chart and underlying data uh, so this will become available in the next year or so. Um, Ethereum, no, same thing. Trade it to your bank account. You don't even have, like, it's not like, it's better than stocks because you don't have to buy, like, a full share. You can buy $100 worth of ETH, or you can buy 0.1 ETH for $214. So it's, it's really nice that you can purchase in very small increments. Um, so once you purchase here, you would then need to send it to your MetaMask. You would go back to the MetaMask, you would copy your address, 
and then when you go to send something, I'm doing this from my MetaMask, but if you were to do it in Coinbase, it would be the, the same thing. Um, you would type in the address. Uh, you would type in the amount that you want to send. It'll tell you what the gas fee is, how much it'll cost to transfer it over. And then you will click accept and depending on what you have set up from like a multi-factor authentication standpoint, you know, you might have to type in some codes, do some stuff like that, which I recommend you having, you know, the highest level of security on all of your accounts. Um, but you would send it to your MetaMask address and then you should be able to click on your transaction and actually see it pending on Etherscan, Etherscan. Uh, so here's like one of my transactions, right? Um, and then once it says success, it will show up in your MetaMask account. And then using a MetaMask, you can deposit that into your, um, into your Decentraland account. You can yeah, buy stuff in OpenSea. You can do whatever you want once it's in your MetaMask. So that's that. Next, we're going to go into the details about Ethereum DG, which is Decentral Games Token, Mana, obviously powers Decentraland, and kind of the, the Decentraland ecosystem and how that works. So don't forget to like and subscribe. I've been forgetting to say that, but I'm, I remembered this time. <laughs> Till next time.